Okay, hello, this is Mr. Manley, and this is a vector problem using dot products to solve a problem in physics. In this problem, I've got somebody is pushing a broom that is, a, that is at a 30 degree angle with the floor. So that's, there's the 30 degree angle there. And then the broom is being pushed for 30 feet. So it's gonna be pushed from here to here. And the question is, if you push a broom like that for 30 feet, how much work is done? Now, if you uh, take physics, um, and I'll tell you if you don't take physics, work is equal to force <coughs> times distance. That is the definition, that is the physics definition of work. Well, it also just so happens that work is equal to the dot product of the force vector and the distance vector. So this is really cool because it, pretty, it really simplifies this problem, or at least the calculation of, of work simplifies into a dot product. And of course, if you know anything about dot products, you know dot product, the dot product is a really simple calculation. Now the biggest trick here is to get your force vector correct. And look at how I'm gonna get my force vector. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna put my x, y axis there and think about the force coming off of coming in this direction like that. Now I'm gonna be able to get my force vector correct. You should know how to write a vector using its magnitude and angle. That's something that would have happened on the first day of a lesson on vectors. So I'm gonna write the force vector here force is equal to its magnitude, which is 40. I didn't say that at the outset. The magnitude of the force for this broom, the person is pressing the broom uh, with 40 pounds of pressure. That's my magnitude. So in the vector, I go, so there it is. The, the uh, magnitude is 40. And then I need the direction angle. And I'm going to go cosine of, now I need the angle. So on the first day that you learned about vectors, you should have learned that a vector angle is done the same way as a trigonometric angle. So the angle is there. That's the angle for this force vector. So if this is uh, 30 degrees there, then I can tell that this angle, hopefully you can see that it's 330 degrees. And if you can't, just pause this and, and look at it and you should be able to see it. So this is, uh, Three, cosine 330 degrees, sine 330 degrees, and that is the force vector. The distance vector is here from there to there. And that's really, I can just, I don't need, the, I don't need an angle or, uh, or anything like that. I can just say that the distance vector is, is uh, and again, I'm going to place the, the x, y axis like this. For, for, the, uh, for that vector, I'm gonna place it like that and just say, okay, I'm going from, from here to here and I can just put the vector in component form. So the vector is 30 comma zero. Now I've got a force vector and a, a distance vector and I just need to do the dot product. So um, if I take, let me take these and uh, find a little bit more room over here okay. all right and I just need to do the dot product of these so I do the dot product of uh, the force vector and the distance vector and that's going to give me not a vector right a dot product just gives me a real number value so I'm going to do 40 cosine 330 degrees times 30, so I'm going to go 40 cosine 330 degrees times 30 plus, and then I'm going to do 40 sine 330, 40 sine 330 times 0, which of course I didn't need to do, right? because that's just gonna come out to zero. So there, and I am not gonna do the, well, 
I don't know if I'm going to do the calculation. But there, so there it is, 40 cosine 330 times 30. And that's going to give me uh, a value. And let me uh, check on that value. That's uh, 1039.23. And the units, if you're in physics, you want the units maybe to be joules. But we are operating in feet and pounds. We're not operating with with uh, kind of scientific measurements of Newton and meters. So it's actually 1,039.23 foot pounds, and that's the work that it's done.